All right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Let's take care of some business, shall we? All right, I wanted to talk to everybody to see what the hell's going on with the crew. So I think we should start from uh, front to back and then back to down and then around. Nuh uh uh, no peeking. I'm putting the finishing touches on my personal project. I thought you said it was on the Nexus. I'm just perfecting the final component here, or should I say, trying to. Several of the crew have offered to help, and I keep politely declining and ushering them out. So, thank you for retrieving that critical piece of Remtech, but kindly stop digging. Can't help it. I'm naturally curious, and I'm sure the crew just wants to bond. Curious is good. Builds anticipation. I'll leave the bonding to you. Not my style. I realize it must be hard being the Pathfinder and not being able to know everything. But there's so much you can do that no one else can. It's safe to say that you, my friend, are one of a kind. Uh, is that all you care about? We both are. It's true. You've only scratched the surface. You have no idea what all I can do. No. But I have an active imagination. I look forward to being educated. But no more distractions. The next time you're on the Nexus, my project will be done. Come by, and I'll unveil it. All right, now, all right. if you will, please leave me to my own devices. Okay, meet with PB on the Nexus. We'll probably be going there soon anyway. Oh, this is just, um... Oh, I can fix my loadout there. All right. Let's talk to, uh... I think we, we talked to Jal already, so let's talk to Cora. She did have something to say to us anyway. Did you hear the news from Eos? A sorry refugee showed up at the outpost. Only a few, but that's better than none. Bradley says there's an officer in charge, Hidaria. She could know where the Ark is. We should go talk to her. We'll head to Eos and see what she knows. Good. Rumor says Sarissa Theris was on the Asari Ark. Exactly who we need. Who's she? Probably the best commando strategist alive. Her biotic shields saved hundreds at the Battle of Kirkus. Apparently, Saris is acting as bodyguard to the Asari Pathfinder. She's probably got a plan out of this mess already. Well, someone's a fan. No, I... I just like... Look, we need someone with her experience. That's all. Well, yes, that is smart, so we'll look into it. I'll take someone with that much experience. Another reason to find the Ark. When you're ready to look, we can catch Hidari at Prodromos. Wouldn't mind tagging along. Sounds good. Uh, what are these scans you got over here? Oh, of that. That's a terrifying creature. A drawl. Hey, Lexi. Going through the readouts from the cat facility. I've never seen such advanced genetic technology. Frankly, it's light years ahead of our capabilities. Uh, did you manage to get one of your dead specimens? <laughs> How long have you and Harry been friends? I remember when he didn't complain about arthritis. Oof. We met at a medical convention on the Citadel. He was moderating a panel on neurosurgery in low gravity environments. His name card was crooked, but he was so damn confident I knew we'd be friends. Oh, that's sweet. Sure you weren't more than friends the way you talk about him? I need to talk to you about something private. Of course. That's what I'm here for. When Dad died, he blocked off parts of Sam's memory. Things he didn't want me to see. Or he thought you weren't ready for. Maybe. I found this... trigger. It unlocked a... memory fragment of Dad on the Citadel. From when the Alliance rejected his ideas about AI and he found out Mom's illness was terminal. Why do you think your father chose this specific memory? It was where his journey to Andromeda really began. Those events started your family down a new path. Yeah. Thanks, Lexi. Feels good to talk about this. How's the crew doing? How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. All right, cool. Let's, uh, wait. Sorting method? What's the sorting method? Why do you sort them that way? 
Just easier for me to see patterns in behavior. Makes sense. Let's check on the non-humans since most of them are non-human. Is PB all right? She's avoiding me. Probably thinks I'll poke her with a needle if she gets too close. To be fair, you're always giving me shots. Not in the hallway. But still, you're always giving people shots. It's a it's a good um it's a good caution to have. Is Jal doing okay? He's adjusting. The rest of us have at least some understanding of each other's cultures. But to Jal, we're all outsiders. It's a lot to take in. I'd say he's doing pretty well. Yeah, he seems to be doing all right. Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. That being said, I think she could use a little me time. Okay. How's our Solarian? He's quite the gossip. Tight-lipped about himself, though. I see. Is Drac good? That old bastard's always good. I've never met anyone who can be so stubborn and so appreciative. Could you look out for him, Ryder? He doesn't need me, sure thing. Don't worry, Lexi. I'll keep an eye on him. Thank you. And maybe don't mention I asked? Okay, somebody's got a thing for the old man. Thanks for the insight. Uh, wait. Fuck, humans. How do you think the... Anyone in particular? Human crew. I sort them in their files, and my brain. How do you think the human crew members are handling things? There's a lot of them. How's Cora doing? Cora's commando training makes her think Asari have all the answers. Just because we live longer doesn't mean we can't screw up. It just means we have more time to make mistakes. Yeah, <laughs> and a lar longer opportunity to learn from them. Gil? Gil likes to use humor as a defensive technique. He'd rather bury himself in the Nomad than tackle emotions head on. How's Cora doing? Cora's commando training Wait, makes her think Asari have all... Just because we that live... That was weird. It just means we have more time to make mistakes. I didn't select Cora again, but it... Suvi okay? Suvi's strong sense of faith keeps her grounded. I'm not spiritual, but there's a beauty in how her mind rationalizes religion and science. The way you could see it that way. How's Liam? A handful. Every time I patch him up, he breaks something new. How? Liam's we can't lose attitude is commendable. But I worry how he'll react when something does go wrong. Yeah, it probably won't, uh, won't turn out well. Thanks for the insight. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Alright. Down into the cargo hold. Got anything new for me, Gil? Oh, yes he does. I'm in the galley when you... Ah, there you are. Gotcha. Do I need to get Lexi to do a psych review? <laughs> maybe. People have been telling me I'm crazy my whole life. Just dealing with some persistent scourge issues from your joyride into the stuff way back when. That was a real act first, thing later move. I respect it. Well, more like I resemble it. <sighs> hey, you play poker? Come again? Poker. Card game, bluffing, betting. It's an age-old measuring stick of a person's character, fortitude, guts. Used to think maybe it was my calling. Turns out I'm just good at it. Never lost, heads up. We should play sometime. You might regret it. Willing to put your streak on the line? Huh. I'll risk it. Next time we pulled up and you're in the mood, I'm always in the mood. Last time a Mass Effect character played poker, he beat the shit out of two of his crewmates for it. <laughs> Go easy on the new guy. Oh wow, everybody wants to talk. Looks like pictures of the Exaltation Chamber. Yeah, the Ketter using some Angaran-made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... Well, imagine if it was Scott. I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was... Well, her age now. You raised your sister by yourself. That can't have been easy. Had to. I waited forever for our father to come home. 
He never did. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. I'll make sure you're fine. You're pretty far from home. We're a team. I'll make sure you're always there for Sid. Thank you, Ryder. That means a lot to me. At least Sid's older now. Maybe I don't have to worry as much. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? Alright. Yeah, certainly not. Sid is probably way older than uh, when you started, so... But always worry, especially being in a new fucking galaxy. Oh, wait, Liam. He is not in here. Okay. Scan the 600-year-old couch. What does it say? Liam claims uh, charge diffusion. Are too be as the furniture doesn't get this worn out without providing comfort. Um, which should be noted is the same as being comfortable. Okay. Yeah, that... How the fuck did that thing even stay together over 600 years? How is it not broken beyond all belief? Is there much to say about that facility on Vault? There would be. One hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles, ruined worlds, no home in sight. Everyone's getting toasty. There was a two-hour argument yesterday, and no one even knew how it started. That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. Movie night. Fuck it, let's do it. Taking a breather for a good movie? I could get behind that. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. Still get mileage out of the bad ones. It's worth it to jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? Five time. Thanks. Everyone will appreciate it. We'll end up getting back there eventually. We're probably gonna make a, uh, a trip there anyway just to go buy supplies. You know what we saw back there, right? This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. He's definitely dangerous. So dangerous, I'm not sure we're ready to deal with him. Take him out. All we need is a plan. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. I mean, dropping a nuke on his head sounds better than blowing up an entire fucking sun. <laughs> but, uh, not really my style for collateral damage. There's better ways to stop him than brute force. Maybe, but I'm not gonna let an enemy get close enough to pry my plates open and go for the soft kill. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly each and every time. But the Archon... He's got an army to back up his crazy. What the hell just happened? But I've got you, and everyone else on board. Huh. True enough. Never underestimate a small, capable strike force. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. <sighs> we'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep. So when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. All right, have I been in the kitchen yet? No, I haven't. Okay, so EOS is at 82% viability, Vold is at 49. We still have to fix the uh, vault down there, so let's go get to it. Why the hell not?
Oh, I haven't talked to Kalo. Sam's been compiling our star charts. The other pilots on the Nexus will have plenty of new trails to follow. You can drop the charts off the next time we're there. Funny. A few months ago, that station was like a war zone. Flying was my only way to escape the chaos. Now it's become a haven, just as it was meant to be. Could use a lake. Every good space station needs a big lake. Maybe some fountains. Indeed. Even non-amphibians need a little water. Regardless, the worst threat to the whole initiative is still that monstrosity. You mean the Scourge? I still see it crippling the Nexus in my memories. I had to train other pilots in hazardous flight techniques just to look for food and water. It's a cage that eats good ships and good people. Helios won't be home so long as it's a threat. The Angara live with it, and so can we. And if every one of our colonists was an ace pilot, I wouldn't be worried. If we could somehow neutralize it, or if our ships had defenses against it. Still, that's what we do, isn't it? Find a way where there is none. Just see the Nexus for proof of that. I mean, well, we'll figure it out. We've probably gathered the most data on it than anybody else. The swelling has gone down significantly, and I seem to be able to talk normally again. The hell Good. happened? Keep me updated, and remember, cool food and liquid only. Nothing spicy. Thank you, Lexi. You all right? Is there something wrong? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just getting over some inflammation of the soft tissues of the mouth. It was dramatic, but ultimately non-threatening. I... What? <laughs> Have you ever heard of the lick test? Back before scanners were portable, Earth scientists would employ this test in the field. They used it to tell rocks from fossils and get a basic idea of their mineral composition. You licked something? <laughs> you licked a rock, didn't you? <sighs> I was distracted and forgot it was a Helios rock. I do it unconsciously. When I was little, my father and I would go on expeditions. The lick test was a huge part of it. He made science fun for me. Your mother was something of a scientist, wasn't she? She specialized in biotics research. Got her start in medicine. I read all about her research and your father's. AI and implants. They achieved so much in so little time. Sam is an astounding achievement. I left my parents back home. They told me they were proud of me. And then lived out their lives while I slept. Of course they were proud. If I were them, I'd be proud too. You came here for the sake of science. That takes courage. Some crazy, but mostly courage. I'm sure they knew that. <laughs> Thank you, Ryder. I needed that. Anytime. Always here to talk if you need it. Alright, let's go fix this vault. Vault orbit is steady. Right, who we take in? Um, let's go veteran drag this time. Approaching the LZ. So where is the vault is the question. Oh yeah, we got a bunch of these things. Outpost site. Is this it? Nope. Journal. Um, evaluate vault for an outpost. They'll probably need to go to Helios. Vault. Activate the three monoliths, did that. Reach the drop point. We'll figure that out in a second. So where is it? Okay, down here. Oh. 
Okay, there we go. Game was having a little bit of trouble there. That might take some doing to get over there. Look at hill. that. The remnant staked a claim over there. So wait, you're Kesha's father? Grandfather, actually. She tell you about me? Not exactly. She did used to swear up and down about a stubborn old fossil, usually while hitting something. Ah. Stubborn old fossil. Hmm. She's called me worse on a good day. Gotta love family love. Can we get up this door? Please do not let this be an issue. Should probably let the boost build up fully. Okay, that didn't do much. I hope to God they're not heading towards the vault. Yeah, they are. Holy shit, let's move. Or no, they're just heading to shuttle wreckage? Sup, bitches! Ooh, fuck! <laughs> do anything about this. Can't scan anything. Alright, let's head back to the Nomad. Oh my god, we launched him so far! Look at this dude! How'd you meet Cash? A few years ago, I was running with a mercenary band, mostly smuggling work. Nova Force. Ambitious name for a small-time crew. On one of the jobs, I got caught by Kesh. Made a deal. I got her some experimental prototypes out of Terminus. She didn't turn me in. It became a thing. She was always good for jobs. Paid well and up front. Credits helped me go independent. But then I got suspicious. All the things she was asking me to get. So I asked. That's when I heard about the initiative. She brought you on. Oh yeah. I bought the pitch, like everyone else. That's interesting. Alright, down we go. Okay, Remnant Vault. Let's get this place up and running. I don't like that. I do not like whatever that implies. <laughs> Lift the vault lock down. Well, we turned the power on. To need to locate the console. Tag to oh, the on. purification field, Pathfinder. Will this work? It will. Oh, wait a minute. That won't do. Oh, shit. The hell's going nice. on with my life support? Pathfinder, that will affect your shields. I'm reading a severe temperature drop. Really down here? Oh shit. Life support is stable. That one went down. And none of 
of that. Stay alert. There'll be more. Nothing here? Or maybe this does it? Oh, shit. Heads up! Oh. Big guys ahead! Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. That's not unsettling at all. Let me, um, that. Okay, shit. Basically a tank. Life support systems offline. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Did I die? How the fuck did I die? <laughs> it went from life support Extreme down is detected, Pathfinder. to Shields not down. Shields down immediately. To just dead. No one what we know now. Heads up! Big guys ahead! Idea what that did. Score, we're in. Did that do something else for me? No. Oh, the console's right there. Affect the way we get to the purification field. Oh no, that's that's a one of those nullifier things. Can I scan one of these? I have not. Been. Hostiles ahead. Life support levels are critically low. Thank you for telling me, Sam. I 
I'm just going to get back up to 100. I'm reading a severe temperature drop. So we do have to get way up there. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Life support is back online. You? gun if you have to, but don't pay too much attention to it. Yeah, it is still a nice planet. Okay. Pathfinder, air temperature has increased by 13 degrees since activating the vault. Excellent. With a reduced cloud cover, solar energy will escalate dramatically. Damn. Now people can start a life here. Alright, where is that outpost site? Lots of respect for the Angara. The way they fight, <laughs> it's almost Krogan. Yeah, they fight like hell. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You Easy. can extract minerals via your mining interface. Pathfinder, oh, I'm Jesus picking Christ. up some unusual readings from the nearby remnant site. You may wish to investigate. Unusual huh? What the uh okay. Loading ammo! 
There we go. Yes, yes, destroy yourselves! Change in the stuff since the vault was activated? No. Hmm. Alright, let's continue on and make this colony. Are you worried about your colony? Of course, who isn't worried out here? You don't act like it. You learn not to show it. Drake seems to be the more kind of happy go lucky guy, which isn't normal for Krogan. Oh my god. Am I for real stuck? <laughs> Remnant sight ahead. We'll deal with that after we have it. Oh, God. Manual says the Nomad's good for all weather conditions, but they did those tests in the Milky Way. The hell is that? Can it core something? want to get stuck in a hole. There we go. Are we getting close at all? Seems like it. is viable for an initiative outpost pathfinder. Excellent. Pretty open, pretty hilly. Congratulations, Pathfinder. This was a real challenge. Send someone to the resistance and badly camp. needed. We'll give them our extra Director supplies. Director Addison? No personal appearance? Placing an outpost is a big deal. Thank you, but no. I prefer climate control to these extremes. Real talk, Pathfinder. I, as Governor Shai, is already up my ass about this outpost. If local Angara weren't on board, we'd have a problem. We are good, right? As much as you've brought us, we can't afford to anger the neighbors. I know, I know. Relax. It's fine, Director. I ticked three or four of the necessary boxes. You enjoy testing me. The results are what matter, and I respect it. Vold helps. Cold as it is, it changes estimates in our favor. But the initiative needs you to find more. We're never really done, of course. Survival isn't something that just... ends. And there's another matter. A ceremonial one. A statement for the Archives. Is this really the time? Pathfinder was always a symbol. Like outpost flags hanging in the commons, the people need a connection to reality on the ground. Address them, Pathfinder. What did this mean? Vold was, is, a hard world. But it's not without life. It has history, people. It was worth fighting for. We're not walking into the unknown. We're joining something. And that is better than we hoped for. Recorded, Pathfinder. Addison out. Alright, cool. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Okay, I got one here. here so I get to meet the pathfinder responsible for minutes. making this place happen. I'm Lizana Telesso. 
Because of you, I have the best job in the galaxy. Which is? Which is... I'm an ice runner. I get to dodge the scourge and outrun the cat to bring water to the colonies. Doesn't get more exciting than that. Sounds like fun. We could even make artificial lakes with it. Facing danger to make everyone's life better. No wonder you love it. When you put it that way. Your job isn't too different. Uh, scourge, ice running. Let's talk about how you avoid that. I've flown through the scourge before. It's not easy. That's half the fun. I get to change my routes to avoid it. Like I'm outsmarting it. I've had a few close calls where it shorted my nav system. Once, I flew blind all the way to the Nexus. There's no way you pulled that off. There's a reason I was the Citadel's best pilot. And yet you're here in Andromeda now? Okay. So you mine the ice as a water source. Smart. I fly ice blocks to the Nexus. Eos. Even made a run to Havarl for the Angara. Speaking of which, sounded like there was trouble brewing when I landed. The Angara were on edge. Maybe you should check it out. Oh, I intend to at some point. How did you get into this job? I was a pilot for the Citadel fleet. Until I got bored and wanted something new. The initiative sounded right up my alley. I was one of the first to sign up. Really? But how do you end up at this outpost? I asked. Marched into Priya's office and told her I was the best pilot she'd get. Said I didn't care if the outpost was mostly ex-alliance. I wanted in. I've been giving her trouble ever since. Right, I see. Take it easy. No fun in that. Oh, shit. Why are you so close to me? <laughs> Rider. <laughs> Who called my name? Is this the same building? No, not necessarily. Or wait, yes, it is. Send someone to the resist. Pleasure to meet you, Pathfinder. Priya Blake, Captain of Outpost Terra Vuni. I'm glad you're here. I thought we'd have to deal with this on our own. Deal with what? What's the problem? Is it the cat? No. At least I don't think so. A few of my drill technicians went missing on a research expedition west of here. We've tried their comms, but get nothing but static. Do you know where they were headed? I know the route, but we lost their tracking signal halfway through. I don't know how far they got. We tried to look at their research notes, but the data is corrupted. We have zero leads. I was supposed to keep these people safe. I've already failed them. Might be too late. We'll find them. Don't lose hope. I'll find your people. Coming from you, I believe it. Their research log is in the lab. Maybe your AI can piece together the corrupted data and get a nav point. Sounds good. Um, I'll post on Vold. However you say that. How are relations with the Angara? I have to say, I'm surprised the Angara let us put an outpost here. A portion of the ice we mine goes to their blockade runners, who take it to resistance bases all over the cluster. Water for their soldiers. It feels good to do our part against the Ket, however small. All right, sounds good. We're staking a claim, but what does the Initiative want with Vold? Look at the landscape. What do you see? Ice. A lot of ice. Water. Bold is a massive, endless source of it. We're proud to serve as the Initiative's first ice runners. We mine the ice here and haul it to colonies where water is scarce. Like Eos. Even the Nexus. The more people we wake from Cryo, the more resources we'll need. Our ice runners make sure water is never a problem. Sounds good. I should head out. Come back if you need anything. Let's take a look around before we kind of need to get out off this ice planet <laughs> just for a little bit. So we might come back later, but we're going to leave after the fact. Sam, you get anything from this mess? Analyzing. It seems most of their data comes from a single nav point. Updating now. Let's move. Container. Nothing in here. Nobody talk to. Nobody say hi to. We even got Engara staying stay here. That's fun. Nothing in here either. 
Oh, just a cargo room. Definitely need Omni Gel casters. Okay, so it's relatively small, but still good. Did I see him already? Yes, I did. All right, let's get out of here. After we see what's in here. What's up, guys? Don't mind me. Oh my god. Can I get this unstuck? Oh, okay, I did it for me. Okay. The memory trigger up here. Oh, Volt's at 100%, damn. Okay, so we got a bunch of memory triggers on the ground. Most of these things are just not non-existent, really? Oh, the drop point. Let's do that before we leave. Come on, get in. Which way are we headed? This way? I'm detecting below normal temperatures. Well, yeah, obviously, Sam. Thank you for the update, though. You never tried looking for your dad. I tried. I asked around. Loudly. Dumb, huh? You were a kid. The sure way to make someone vanish is to let him know someone else is looking. Either dad or whoever it was that made him disappear. You hate him for it. Nah. I tell myself he'd come back if he could have. I'll never get the truth, so I'll take the lie that makes everything easier. Sounds about right for most people. We're getting close. Should we clean up that cat camp? Yeah, we'll do it on the way back. I can't get up there. Can't salvage. Let's take them out. Can I send them flying? Ooh! There we go. Seems clear. Where is that drop? That drop point is up. Shit, I we're not going to be able to get to that from here. All right, let's go back to the base and see. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Thank you, Sam. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. Town Hill's always more fun. I wonder if we'll ever see a so-called golden world that won't be complete death to live on. Ah! Probably not. So we should be a temperature decrease. Close enough. We're getting closer. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Hello! 
damn it, I missed. Shit! Dracula's about to go in! Why were Angara attacking us? Pathfinder, I detect a data pad nearby. Gar and Raider. Can't scan the crates. And Slash. Axul is stockpiling supplies. Why? Pathfinder, I have informed Olisk. The drop point is secure. Good. The resistance should get their supplies now. All right. Let's uh just head straight back to the uh tempest. I think when we return, we're gonna hit up Aya. So I thank you so much, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, for joining me. Uh, if you're on uh, YouTube, like, comment, subscribe on Cora Twitch. Cora wanted to check in with you. All right, I'll talk to her on Twitch. Um, your email at your please drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will be back in a moment. Mm -hmm.